Chicago Fed President Austin Goolsby out with dovish comments calling for caution on monetary policy amid credit uncertainty. Here with the details is Yahoo Finance's Jennifer Schonberger. Hey, Jennifer. Hey there, Rochelle. Good morning. Chicago Fed President Austin Goolsby hinted at the desire Tuesday to not raise rates at the May policy meeting. The voting member said in light of Silicon Valley Bank's failure and moments of financial stress, the right policy approach calls for prudence and patience to assess the potential impact on the economy. He said in a speech, quote, given how uncertainty abounds about where these financial headwinds are going, I think we need to be cautious. He said we should gather further data and be careful about raising rates too aggressively until we see how much work the headwinds are going to do for us in getting down inflation. Now, in contrast, New York Fed President John Williams told me in an exclusive interview Tuesday that he's watching credit conditions closely but doesn't see broader impacts so far on consumer and business spending in other parts of the economy, though he added it's still early days. Meanwhile, Minneapolis Fed President Neil Kashkari said the Fed's interest rate hikes and a possible pullback in lending following those bank failures could trigger a recession, but allowing inflation to stay high would be even worse for the job market. And we're just hearing from Richmond Fed President Tom Barkin moments ago, who spoke with CNBC, saying he does we don't want to declare victory prematurely on inflation. Uh, he says we haven't seen infl evidence inflation has cracked yet. So, Rochelle, clearly a divide between members of the Fed who want to go cautious in the camp of Goolsby versus your Barkins, Williams and Kashkaris who still want to fight ahead on inflation and perhaps see these reverberations from bank failures contained at the moment. I mean, it's tough. Investors probably scratching their heads at the moment, trying to figure out who to follow then. And of course, Jen, the Fed minutes also set to be released later today. What would be the most interesting aspect of these minutes this time around? Well, so, Rochelle, as you know, the Fed minutes are released with a three week lag. But we're going to get a window into what the Fed was thinking when they decided to uh, hike rates on the back of Silicon Valley Bank's failure. If you recall, that decision was down to the wire and it followed very strong reports on both the job and inflation fronts. Uh, so we'll get some thinking into what feds were th Fed officials were thinking then. However, that was three weeks ago and conditions have changed. So investors need to take those thoughts with a grain of salt. Certainly closely watched. We'll have to pass through those, that wording indeed. Jennifer Schoenberger, thank you for that update.